Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and since lately so many people ask me how did you get always maximum FPS and the least amount of input delay in games like Fortnite, I'm just going to show you the best Nvidia control panel settings or better said the updated version guys with literally everything I utilize and explain all the important settings. And yeah guys, as mentioned, now I'm about to show you the new best NVIDIA control panel settings for maximum FPS in games and all you guys gotta do in the first place is open up your NVIDIA control panel, which you can just simply doing here by right clicking, you know, here onto this small icon, or you're just simply gonna go into the Windows search bar and type in NVIDIA until you find NVIDIA control panel and just simply open it up, which I already of course did here in the background guys, and then should look exactly like this here. And yeah, here on the left side guys, under 3D settings, we now have manage 3D settings and you're just simply gonna click onto it. And now I'm going to talk you through all these settings and explain roughly which ones you should apply. So in the first place guys we have image scaling and I already explained this so often that this is such an insane feature because what this feature pretty much allows you is to go in a game and actually set the resolution on something lower than full HD and this software is gonna scale it up again but you're still gonna have a really good FPS increase because it's actually gonna get scaled up to full HD but we're still gonna have a really nice FPS boost because it's not true full HD but it still looks insanely sharp like almost the same. So therefore I can only recommend actually utilizing this feature and as a small tip guys if you're gonna go here onto sharpness it's usually on something like 50 but I discovered putting it on 52 will just give you like this nice little bit of sharpness you know this extra sharpness which is gonna make it look really good and you're still gonna have a really nice FPS boost so therefore just simply apply those settings here and then we're gonna continue guys ambient occlusion we of course gonna put to off guys this is all just like something about like lightning and all that stuff antistrophic filtering of course also to off guys you know um, this is pretty much like gonna sharpen out some edges but but in most games it doesn't really matter and we just simply want to get maximum FPS so therefore anti-aliasing FXAA as well onto off and anti-aliasing gamma correction is actually like the only one which I would keep on because as mentioned this is again something to do with like lightning and colors and how the game is gonna look like and if you actually turn this off your game is gonna look like really washed out and you don't want that and then next up as well here anti-aliasing mode to off guys and then we're just gonna go here down background application max frame rate this is actually something super nice and newly added let's just say that you're like actually in the game and you have discord running in the background you can limit this program to something like 20 fps you know so yeah that won't be like a huge workload in the background or let's just say that you have youtube open because you're listening to some music um you can actually limit your google chrome on 20 fps and it will therefore take less ram so therefore you can do that i personally don't utilize it so therefore you can apply it of course if you want to go for like maximum fps and then we just going to continue here cue the gpu so you're just going to put onto all or you could also select your current gpu which you can of course also do guys I just selected here my 3070 Ti. Then we have DSR factors, which we don't need. And then next up here, we have low latency mode, guys. And here I actually gotta say, you gotta try this out for yourself because I know from tons of people that they actually have like less delay when they put this onto on. And then I heard also from people that it's like less delayed when they play a game when they put it on ultra. But then there's also me and I personally have to say, if I put it on off, I actually feel like I have less input delay in Fortnite. So therefore, you guys really gotta try it out for yourself because it also works differently for each and every single game. This is just simply like personal preference. You really gotta try it out. Casually, I would say putting it on ultra would make the most sense. As I mentioned, I play like Fortnite and Fortnite is a really hectical game, guys, with a lot of motion. And I can definitely say that putting it onto off actually helped me out there. So therefore, try it out yourself. And yeah, you gotta realize it yourself if you have more or less input delay, you know, just simply hop in a game, set it onto off, then set it onto on and maybe ultra and then just go through it. Then next up, maximum frame rate, guys, I just simply have an off here. Monitor technology, I have G-Sync compatible. If your monitor has any sort of G-Sync compatibility, then of course you can utilize this on free sync. This is not gonna show in there. So therefore you're gonna have it simply here on fixed refresh. But as mentioned, my monitor actually supports G-Sync. So therefore I utilize it here, especially while playing games like Fortnite or CS, you know, like competitive games. And then next up we have multi-frame sampled AA and I have this here turned off as well because there's again like another multi-rendering mode which we don't need because I don't want to go for like really sharpened graphics. I rather prefer maximum FPS. Then we have OpenGL rendering GPU. Just I'm gonna put onto auto selected. Power management mode, of course guys, on prefer maximum performance. Super important just to make sure that your GPU actually runs at 100% or the highest possible. I know for a fact that like in tons of games this is still a little bit unoptimized so your GPU still only runs at like 40%. 
especially Fortnite. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring that example up here again. So therefore, just let me put it here on preferred maximum performance. Then we have preferred refresh rate, and there you can see in my monitor. And of course, guys, put it on highest available because you wanna actually utilize those 240 hertz, 360 hertz, 144 hertz. You know the deal. You wanna go for maximum. Then next up, guys, shader cache size. You don't really have to worry about it if you play competitive games because this pretty much determines how much backup or temporary data a game can actually like put on your PC, especially while playing like open world games, you know, which are like with a large map and all that stuff. Then you can maybe limit it on something like 10 gigabytes or 100 gigs. And as mentioned, it just like allows the game to like back up some temporary data as mentioned on your PC and you can limit it. If you don't play any of these, it literally doesn't matter. Just simply leave it on driver default and you're good to go. Then next up guys, we have texture filtering and distrofal sampling and we're just simply gonna put it on off again. Texture filtering, pretty much everything here guys. Uh, which has anything to do with like texture filtering you're gonna put onto off except texture filter quality of course you're gonna put on highest performance guys because this is pretty much gonna make the image a little bit like more blurry but as mentioned we're trying to go for maximum fps if you want to have a sharp picture put it on quality but i guess if you guys are trying to get like maximum fps so therefore we gotta put it on high performance here actually then next up here we have threaded optimization which you're gonna put on auto as well then we have triple buffering which you're gonna put off vertical sync there again guys it comes down pretty much like to what your pc uses for me personally because i have something above like 60 hertz um i have a 240 hertz monitor i actually don't want to use vertical sync and it only makes sense on 60 to 75 hertz monitors to actually utilize this so therefore if you're on something above like 60 75 hertz definitely put it off and both of these virtual reality settings here are not really important for me so therefore i just keep them on off here and with that said you pretty much applied here the best settings i'm just gonna scroll through them here one more time so you guys can like check if you have everything um properly copied here and after you're done guys you're just gonna click here on to apply and yeah then all these settings are gonna get changed and just to make sure that you also apply them here correctly guys we're just gonna go here back to adjust image settings and there you can see use the advanced 3d image settings and now we're gonna go to the color settings and yeah guys as we now move over here to the display section we can see adjust desktop color settings and if we actually like scroll down in here we can now see that we have tons of color options and if you guys wanna you can just simply make sure to copy all of my settings here for color channel of course all colors we will cause we want to have like full RGB colors, brightness just simply 50%, contrast as well 50%, gamma on 1.00 and digital vibrance now you gotta actually push to 75% guys just to make sure that all of your games are a little bit more colorful and vibrant and trust me it makes such a huge difference the colors look so much different because yeah a more colorful picture is just gonna look better overall and HUE I just simply keep on zero degrees and if we actually go down here as well under video to adjust video color settings we can now as well here copy all of my settings real quick guys brightness 50% contrast 50% HUE 179 degrees and saturation you already put to 75 so therefore it's just gonna be the same here and then we pretty much done that just simply click here on to apply oh i just changed it by accident so now i'm gonna click here on to apply again and yeah then we have pretty much as well also here the best color settings in the nvidia control panel setting for fortnite for gaming in general or here in 2022 so therefore guys i hope that this was helpful and now we can pretty much just like close it and you already applied all those best settings and yeah guys if you want to get your hands on my personal game user settings or better said my fortnite config just simply click on the first link in the description where you can find my website and here on the top left side you will find a video with the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now just simply click onto it you might maybe get like a small pop-up ad and then afterwards you can open up the website and then just simply scroll down here a little bit until you find download which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can get my game user setting so therefore click onto it you might probably get like a small pop-up ad and then you will get redirected to google drive from where you can download my game user settings and you're pretty much chilling guys i already got it here on my desktop and this is exactly how it's going to look like we have just like a file here with those game user settings in there which we're gonna actually like unwrap here onto our desktop and once we get it here, we're gonna go back into a Windows search bar, type in presenter, temp presenter, and open up the first file. Once we're in here, we're gonna click onto local, press F on our keyboard for Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client, and in here we have our old game user settings, which we're just simply gonna delete, guys and replace them with mine or better set the new ones for you and yeah guys after you're done with that just simply right click onto it go into properties and make sure that the check and the attribute read only is put guys so you don't change them by accident and then you're pretty much done here and you applied my game user settings or better set my personal fortnite settings and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace
That shit too light. Big four and hoe come get inside. Dami Gucci Lee come take a die. Kill that shit, but just don't kill the vibe. Yeah, we the ones they talking about. We the rulers, we gon' hop inside the car.